Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie once again with the Gosker Applications staff. I have another tip for you today. We're going to be transferring programs to and from the machine control from a USB drive. The functionality will be the same if we have a terminal connection such as uh, networking our machine to a shop server. The left hand side of the control you'll find the two USB ports. If you look very carefully underneath each one of those, you'll see embossed in the gray plastic the words US0 and US1. That's important to know because when you plug your USB chip in, we have to direct the machine to look to the USB hub where we've plugged in our media. So let's start today just by using the program button on your control. This also works for the P200, although the procedure will be slightly different, but we'll start the same way. By pushing the program key, the first screen that comes up is the machine directory. That's your program library. You notice up here it says MD1. That will always be the name of your machine directory. The rule of thumb is you always need to be looking at the source directory, where your program is lying now. So our first example will be moving a program from the USB chip to the machine control. So we need to be looking at the source directory, which is the USB chip. F1 on your screen says directory display. We'll start by touching that. This is where the P200 differs ever so slightly. You won't see all of these fancy keys, but for the P300 guys, now you can simply select US0 or US1 depending on where your chip lies. My chip is in US1, so I will touch that. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff on this thumb drive, but obviously the program, different colored icon, is testcontour.min. So the simple method is to simply touch the program I want to move, utilize the copy soft key, it pops up a window giving you the opportunity to change the name of the program if you wish. Now we'll do that just so you can see what we would do. Let's just say that this is a test program. Keep in mind we don't want to have any spaces or special characters in our program. Once I've entered the new program name I need to push the input key and you notice it moved from the buffer to the input block and now the machine is simply asking us where would you like to copy this to move it to the machine we will select MD1 copy now it is done that quick so F1 directory display again and push MD1 and now you see that our test program resides there to move it in the other direction is the exact same procedure but this time we'll be looking at the source directory which is the MD1 we will copy I'll leave the name where it is and I will copy it to either USB drive. If you are networked that would be your TC or terminal connection copy but I don't have one of those on this machine I won't worry about it. I'll just say US1 copy and that quick it's over there. Here's a little shortcut for you if you're going to be transferring a large number of programs during the day. I will select directory display as I did previously, but now instead of selecting a single source directory, I'm going to come over here and find another display. And it pops up a window that allows me to select one directory to be viewed, and you notice that the icon here is showing a single screen, or I can split the screen and have two monitors or two directories simultaneously. And this is where we lose some people. We want to keep a source directory in the left column, in this case MD1, that's great. I need to reach up and tap underneath device name so it highlights and then explain to the machine that I want the USB chip. So now I've got the MD1 and the US1 split screen by clicking OK. Now I have both directories displayed and I can simply select a program copy and now I can use the left and right keys if I wish. Copy to the left from the USB chip to the MD1 or copy right from MD1 to USB. Simply select and say copy left. Now it's telling me over right. Yes I do. If I navigate away from this screen 
and go do my work, come back at a later time, as long as I've not powered off the machine, my split screen will still be here. So this is why I recommend if you're going to do multiple transfers during the day, use the directory display another display feature because now you can just transfer back and forth without any kind of hassle. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to your local Gossiger application staff. We're always here to serve.